Okay, this guy posted this, and I guess I'll talk about it because it's kind of funny. Um, he said that on Steam, uh, Steam advertised to him the IndieCade, and since he appears to be a connoisseur of indie video games, he thought, hey, let's check him out. Uh, one of them was apparently called He Fucked the Girl Out of Me. Let's take a look at that. That's an... I must log in to see this content. Okay. I'm not logged in. Let me see if I can open it in my other browser. I'll read stuff. It must also be logged in. Can, I'm signed into Steam. Can I not just go to the library? Oh, okay. Store. And then I guess I will just type into the search bar, which is being recorded. He fucked the life out of me. Oh, the, the girl out of me. He Fucked the Girl Out of Me is a semi-autobiographical narrative visual novel about trauma and sex work made for the Game Boy. The author explains how sex work impacted her life and changed her perception of the world. The game takes approximately 40 minutes to play from start to finish. Tagged LGBTQIAP+, Emotional, Visual Novel, Story Rich and marked as adult only. So it's like weird. It's a really weird art style. The picture that you can see on this is pretty accurate. However, the author has included some additional uh, buying options. As you can see, you can buy the ultimate ringtone, which is a bit of a weird thing. Not many people have paid for ringtones anymore. The donation wallpaper for $5 the trauma world donation paper for 20 and the sparkling ghost donation wallpaper for 50. Sorry, I didn't mean to DSP into the mic. About this game, he fucked the girl out of me is a semi fictionalized autobiographical story about my experience with trauma and sex work. It's semi fictional because it'd be too painful and messy for me to write about otherwise. Um, if you're looking for triple A gaming, then it'll be better to look elsewhere. Um, when I wrote, I expected people to hate me, but people wrote me telling me how much the game meant to them. The game ended up being featured in museums and conferences around the world and even won awards. Okay, what awards? The International Documentary Film Festival of Amsterdam, Queer Games Festival 2022 Jury Award, Independent Games Festival Nuovo Award nominee. Indiecade Narrative Spotlight Award nominee, Innovation and Experience Design Award, uh, Selection BFI Flare Expanded. Okay, that's not awards. Um, so this is about a tranny sex worker getting fucked by a ghost. I'm gonna read a good review of this. Ready? A nice short story with lots of highs and lows. I hope that trans people can live to see a kinder future by Roar, who has a Rainbow Dash avatar. A little, a raw, it's raw. It has a little gameplay, but it, it is meaningful. For me, the most relatable thing was how it portrays our need for love and how that need ended up being merely transitional. Um, I too hate receiving gifts for the same reason. I know how hard it is to earn money. I had worked terrible jobs. I had learned to see everything throughout the perspective of how much suffering does this thing cost. It feels uncomfortable how relatable the whole thing is, yet grateful. Thanks for sharing and good luck. Yeah, dude, I imagine if, like when I think about like when I worked at Whataburger, I remember thinking like every time I bought anything and like this is like two hours of work at fucking Whataburger to like buy this. And then I imagine if you're like a whore, if you're like a tranny whore, you have to think like, oh man, if I buy this, that's half the money I earned for letting an old man fuck me in the ass. That must be pretty soul crushing. I can see now why all these tranny prostitutes are like anti-capitalist because when you have to weigh everything and how many dicks you suck... It probably is pretty, pretty traumatic to go to the grocery store and then check out and be like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm, I'm paying three dicks worth for, for this amount of groceries. And it doesn't even have any good cheese. I have to buy sharp cheddar and I sucked a dick for that. 
what a world what a world this united states of america we are in is <laughs> a patrick when do oh a, a patrick voice okay <laughs> we'll see if i hit your bingo i don't have any patrick stuff lined up so you may be you may be cuckolded no, I uh, I do the Patrick voice spontaneously. Sometimes I feel really Patricky, and I just start doing it. I it's one of those things where it's like I'm really terrible at doing voices, but I like to do voices because they're silly. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Adolfo. Remember to like and subscribe.